Hello everyone. Today I intend to discuss three words. I am sure you heard or read these words marathon, silhouette and boycott. These three words have very interesting stories behind them. Now marathon was an ancient Greek village where Athenians defeated Persians. And after the victory, a messenger ran about 22 miles to reach Athens. And when he reached Athens, he was so tired that after giving the message of victory, he died. From that in English, we have a word marathon. If some task demands a lot of energy, effort and patience, then also we can use the word marathon for that. The second word is silhouette. Now silhouette was a French controller general of France and he was tight fisted. He did not like to spend money and people did not like his economic policies and to show their anger they started calling dark pictures against light background as silhouette. Not only that, he himself also started drawing pictures, uh, shadow portraits against light background and he himself also tried to popularize those pictures and he liked them because they were cheap. So from that in English we have a word silhouette. The third word is boycott. Now boycott, Charles boycott, Captain Charles boycott, he was an island, he was in Ireland, he was a land agent and he had many tenants. Now in 1880, after a bad harvest, people were not in a position to pay rents. So they wanted some kind of reduction in rents. So boycott offered 10% reduction. But people, his tenants wanted 25%. And when boycott refused their request, people boycotted him. They cut off all relations with him. Even shopkeepers stopped selling him things. And the situation became so bad that uh, boycott had to leave Ireland and go to England. So from that we have a word in English, boycott. When you refuse to take part in something or refuse to help somebody, refuse to do something, so that word is boycott. So I hope you enjoyed learning about these three words, marathon, silhouette and boycott. If you want more such videos, please visit www.fluentlingua.com or you can also visit our YouTube channel Fluent Lingua. I am Dharmendra Shet from Surat.